Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. You know, I was sitting around thinking today because we have the newest redesigned Tacoma coming. Which version would I buy? And I've come to the conclusion that there's only one version of the Toyota Tacoma that I would buy, and that's this. Well, half of this. I'm talking about the SR5. The other half is the V6, but honestly, this is gonna go away. So if you have one of these, you're gonna have a classic because we're not gonna have them anymore. You of course have heard, I'm sure if you follow any of the rumors and news, that the new Toyota Tacoma is gonna be coming with a four cylinder turbo. But for me, if I was buying a third gen, maybe I'm gonna grab the last 2023 before the next ones come out, it would be the SR5 V6. Now, there's a few reasons, and let me give you a little bit of history. I've had several different Toyota Tacomas. I've had the Access Cab, I've had the Off-Road, I've had the Sport, and of course now I have the SR5. And I have to say, the most satisfying one for me so far is the SR5, with one little caveat, and I go back and forth on this, and that is the Sport, because I like the hood scoop on the Sport. Sometimes. Sometimes I didn't like it. When I had it before, I got to the point where I was always looking at it. I could see it when I was sitting in the driver's seat. And it became kind of an obstruction. But nonetheless, when looking at the truck from the outside, I think it looks pretty darn sporty on the truck. And I love sporty looking trucks. So why the SR5? You know, having had several of the other versions, I mentioned the TRD Off-Road, the TRD Sport, uh, the Access Cab, which by the way, the Access Cab, I really love the look of that truck, but I found that the back seat area was useless for passengers. If you're ever gonna haul anybody back there, it's just too tight. Those flip down side seats were horribly uncomfortable and there just wasn't any room back there. And I know because I actually rode in the back of one myself once, it was bad. But anyway, the SR5, as I mentioned, I had the other ones and I found that I was paying for a lot of things that I really didn't need. The 2020 that I had, you know, it had crawl control. I didn't need crawl control. I mean, I was never gonna be anywhere where I was gonna be stuck and needed to have that extra oomph to get out. That truck was four wheel drive, by the way, which is another thing I'll mention, four wheel drive. Definitely something that given where I live and what I do with the truck, I don't need. All it did for me was add badges to the truck, which I always remove, add cost and weight to the truck which are two other things I didn't need either. That truck also had a sunroof. I don't know why I got a sunroof. I didn't need a sunroof. I don't like sunroofs. Really the only reason I think in my head that I wanted it was for channel purposes. I could suction cup a camera up there and film, you know, forward. I can accomplish that other ways anyway. So certainly nothing that I needed to spend an extra grand or two on to add to the truck. There are some things that I did like. I mentioned on the TRD Sport, love that hood scoop that's on the front of that truck. Um, I could add one, I suppose. It's non-functional. You could buy one and add it. Maybe I'll do that when I get my next truck because it's something I've never done before. Might be kind of a cool mod to put on the truck. The power adjustable seats. That's something that's pretty standard unless you go pretty low trim now. Um, did I really need it? Not really, but it sure is convenient. And plus it changes that seat angle. You know, I'd done mods on the trucks prior to them having that option. And I had to put nuts or washers underneath the back of the seat to level it out so I could get it the way that I wanted so that I wasn't driving like this. I mean, it just didn't feel good to me. I had to bring it up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that was really the only couple of things that I really liked in those trucks. Again, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me to spend all that extra money so you can have a badge on the back, which I always take off anyway. Nobody knows what you're driving. You know, I had a, a comment recently. Somebody told me that they were going to get the four-wheel drive because they just couldn't tolerate their buddies giving them issues 
about having a two-wheel drive truck. And they didn't need it. They didn't do anything. They didn't have any plans for it. They don't live in an area that gets lots of winter weather where it could come in handy. But because of peer pressure, they were gonna spend that extra money and buy a four-wheel drive truck. And I told them, I said, you know, unless you tell people, now granted, if they're inside and they're real familiar with the truck, they'd be looking for that four-wheel drive knob. But if you don't tell anybody what you've got, nobody's gonna know if you take the badges off. I mean, obviously it would say four by four on the back if you had a four by four, but if you're like me, you remove those anyway. And I'm not gonna spend that extra three or four grand just to have badges on the back that say four by four. Somebody else asked me recently if they could lift a two wheel drive truck and that it would look, uh, they'd look like a poser because they were driving around in a lifted two wheel drive truck. And I thought, well, number one, who cares? I, I really don't care what other people think my truck looks like. For you see, they are not paying for it, I am. Plus, I don't do it to make it look like something else. I do it because my truck is lifted in the front. I have had fully lifted four by two trucks as well, but I do it because I like the look of it. Doesn't mean that it has to be four wheel drive. And you know, I think there's a misconception out there that if you have a two wheel drive truck, you can't ever go off road. I would argue the complete opposite. You certainly can go off road. And if you're going into areas that must have a four by four, unless you're an expert, you're probably going into areas that you shouldn't be going into anyway. You know, if anything, you could add some weight to the back to push those rear drive tires down a little bit to give you a little more traction. That's all you really need. You don't have to have a four wheel drive truck to go off truck or off road rather. You know, I've heard stories, people talk about getting stuck in four wheel drive, stuck off the road. And I think, well, that's because you're going into areas that maybe you need a tank to go through. You know, something with tracks. There are instances, even if you're driving a four wheel drive, that you're not going to be able to get through the terrain. So there's this idea that you can do anything with a four wheel drive truck. That's not true. It really is based on the expertise of the driver, not just the truck alone. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, kind of talk about that a little bit. People have asked me, well, what are you going to be doing when the next truck comes out? It's gonna be an SR5 or whatever Toyota's version of the SR5. You know, I don't know if they're gonna use the same naming standard with this new truck or not. I assume so because Toyota's done it, you know, for like 300 years, but we never know. Either way, for me, it's gonna be the equivalent of the SR5. There is one other reason I wanna mention, and that's because of the modability or modding options on the truck. It makes no sense for somebody like me with the YouTube channel and all to go out and buy a TRD Pro, for example, a truck that's finished because either there's nothing for me to do to it or I'm gonna be ripping off things that again, I would be paying for that don't need. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. What's your favorite trim level of the Toyota Tacoma and why? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Mod Driven, all about the Honda Civic, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.